Get your crates out of my cargo hold. Ah, uh, Boba, you do such good work. I knew you'd come through. Now, tell me, where can I find Captain Solo? Oh, hey, hey friends, it's Gear. Welcome to Making Star Wars, the series where we make backgrounds and settings for all your Star Wars figures. On today's episode, we're going to build some Star Wars crates. Before we get started though, this is a new channel, so please, please click that like button. All right, for this project, what you're gonna need is some insulation foam. I'm using one inch, because I'm making my boxes approximately two inches. And actually about an inch and three quarters, because I'm cutting them down quite a bit. Uh, you're gonna need some way to cut your foam, so either a hot wire table or a large razor knife. You'll need a smaller razor knife for some details. Um, an ink pen. A nail file. Or emery board I think they call them. And some various caps. Um, we'll get to that. Uh, just little bottle caps or whatever. You'll need Mod Podge with uh, whatever your choice base color paint mixed in with it some glue just like white glue and some paints so first you want to cut out your squares and however you want to do that whether it be with your large knife or a hot wire table then you take your white glue and glue them together and it's best to set something heavy on it, like a book on top of them so they don't move while they dry overnight and then in the morning you'll have your nice cube so the reason you need these caps I'm using a marker I tried different different size caps and stuff off of little lotions and things. You take the cap and that's going to make your center circle. So uh, place it. Try and get it as centered as you can. They don't need to be perfect. I, I don't always get it perfect. And you just push and twist, push and twist. Let it sink into that foam and make yourself a nice circle and you'll do that on all the sides and I decided for some of these I'm gonna put a bigger circle on the top and on the bottom so I got a different little jar little cap piece here and sorry I'm gonna pull it over here for a second to get it centered Push and twist. And you'll feel it start sinking in a little bit. And that's how you know it's stuck. That one actually went in pretty good. So once you got your circles, your center circles around all your all sides, take your razor knife and you're going to want to line up with the center of the circle and make a cut. And go down maybe an eighth of an inch. And then turn it to the next side. This isn't going to line up quite right. But we'll try and make do. And in. Cut in about an eighth of an inch, flip it around, come back in that same groove, push it in, make your cut. You go around all the edges and do that up so you have 
Each of your faces has the four lines coming out from the center circle. After that, take your ballpoint pen. Um, has to be ballpoint or a stylus of any sort would work too. This isn't for actually the ink. This is for the for the, you're using as a stylus, and just trace your lines, pushing in gently, harder, 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 a little bit harder as you do it. And you want to do all those pieces that, or all those little lines you cut. You're basically, you're just defining them, giving them a little bit of a bevel. Coming around all of them. I should point this out. You may, because of the glue, the seam is going to, between the two pieces, is also going to be one of your lines. But the glue may have gotten to the edge. So you're going to want to also go through all those with the cuts just like you did for the rest of the cube. I think that's all of them. Now I take the nail file and this has two sides to it. The darker is usually a coarser and the light is usually finer. And I will use that, just kind of stick it in the corners and this just to define them a little bit. hold it on an angle like this and just give them a little bit of a sanding okay and then I'm gonna do the same just lightly across the edges just to round the edges a little bit circles a little bit if they didn't come out quite right. Just give them a once around. But, so there you go. That is your, your finished shape. The next step is to take your, your Mod Podge and I just mix it to whatever shade I like and it doesn't matter this is just your base coat and you want to coat it pretty pretty well just paint it on I dip it in make sure it gets into those cracks but then of course I go over to wipe it out of the cracks as best I can too so it's not all gooped up in, in the side there Now, of course, you don't want to do the entire piece because then you'll have a wet side that you're going to end up setting down to dry and then it'll stick to whatever you're laying it on. It is essentially just a form of white glue, so you want to be careful with that. So because of the way I'm holding it and everything, I am just going to do the four sides leave the two that I'm holding but now you're gonna have a little bit of buildup on the around the edges 
where it comes across. So let's go around there and clean up all that little drips and buildups. And as you can see, doing this, I am getting some on my faces that I'm setting down. But as long as you come along and tap it a little every once in a while as it's sitting on some newspaper, it it won't stick that bad. Or it won't stick. Um Yeah, just just come by and give it a nudge in a few minutes. I'm gonna, for the color I want, you can do these in tan or black or whatever, but I'm doing some gray and I'm gonna put just a drop of, a couple drops of a couple drops of metallic in there. Just paint your piece. And again, I'm going to do two coats on this because, you know, I buy cheap paint and it doesn't always completely coat the Mod Podge base as well as I'd like. So I'm just going to follow that same formula I did for put painting on the Mod Podge. I'm going to do the four sides, leaving myself two spots to hold on to it. Then go back over again after it dries. I decided when I did my final, my top coat, I took the gray and the steel or metal, whatever color, and I actually put a drop of, of copper in with it. And I thought, that's a good color. And what I'm doing now is, this is a different one that I did, and I took I think I used the base of this marker and I just made some dents I made some dents in it before I started and I'm making them like scratched up so I took some of that, that metal that's steel color and just lightly lightly brushing it into those dents making this one look like it's all dinged up and you could dry brush a little bits of this, like on the edges. Um, and that too would make it look like it's been scuffed up. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like a couple of the top edges here. With some scuffing. We'll put a Put a scratch across, across here. There we go. Happy little scratches. Okay, they're painted up. Last uh, painting here I'm going to do is I got black wash mixed up. Um, this one's this just uh, black paint, water, and I think there's a little bit of detergent in there. And you could take a smaller brush, 
black paint and paint in all your details, but I think this this is easier. This works better. Just go over it. I think I'm going to use a bigger brush. And just generously coat it up so all that black sinks into the cracks. And if after it dries and you feel like you didn't get it in there good enough, you can always do a second second wash on it. So now that all the wash is dry, all the paint's dry, wash is dry, I'm going to do something I haven't seen anybody else do. I'm going to take some cotton and I'm going to buff these up kind of buffs off some of that wash. These are supposed to be smooth, probably metal. And I'm just going to go over all the surfaces and lightly rub with some cotton. And I don't know if the camera will show it, but let's see. It's a little bit, a little bit shinier, not super shiny, but it's smoothed out. See, that's very flat and looks like a coat of paint, whereas that's, that looks a little better. So I'm going to do all those on the surfaces and then finish it off with a coat of polyurethane. Light, light coat of polyurethane. I'm not going to spray that here. I'm going to put together a box to do it. And that's it. If you liked this video, hit the button. Your comments are welcome. And subscribe if you want to see more.